Hello, welcome to Libby Toys. Okay, so where were we? We were in The Sims stalking my favorite family, the Hacking family, and then making the radical decision to turn them into Lego. So last video, I made Brent and Brandt, Brent, Brandt and Brent Hacking as Lego mini dolls. Had to do a bit of painting, but I think they turned out very, very, well, reasonably accurate. <laughs> given my limited skills but I did promise that I was going to make them a house which is a fun challenge because I have never ever built a house in Lego from scratch before so here we go we have to start with this as my base work idea this is what the house looks like in Sims 4 it is a bit bleak but I'm going to just take the idea of it and then use my own personal flair and build once again to the extent of my skills it is a base no, it's a starter house, so it's kind of a bit sad looking inside. There's not a lot of furniture, not a, a lot of uh, friendly, homely kind of stuff, but it is definitely a farmhousey kind of look. And uh, okay, and uh, yeah, where do I go from here? This oh, I love this bit off to the side. There's a little French windows thing. I wonder if I can build that. This is Brent's art room because he loves. He's an artist. This is what he he aspires to be is a major fabulously famously fabulous artist right so yeah okay but this is all so far into the future because i've got to build the actual house first ah uh, okay and yeah brand is cooking i wonder if i can put the kitchen i wonder i don't know i i have no idea what what on earth i'm doing here what the hecking i'm doing <laughs> i think what we're gonna do is oh actually we look, so it's two-story house Two-story house, bedrooms upstairs. Oh, let's have a look at the roofing, because I mean, roofing in The Sims is a nightmare anyway to achieve. And I'm not gonna have to achieve a massive amount of roofing in Lego form. Ah, oh, fun. Uh, okay, the back of this looks kind of, yeah, a bit sad. There's not much going on out here, which is good because we probably won't be doing anything out the back because it's gonna be a doll's house style Lego build. So we got the house and then we can reach in the back so we can access all the furniture and all the good stuff. Okay, right, so let's move the hickings out of the way and let's build them a house. So let's start with some wood flooring because this is a very good start. And they've got a porch out the front. So if I put the porch, no, let's start by deciding where to put the door. So the door was over here on the right. And this is about, you know, as far as I'm going to go with the actual following oh, the house design because that is just all brown. It was a lot of brown, the house. So we're going to make it just a bit kind of a bit more modern so got some glass panels on either side of the door some little night some little light lights what do you call those things you know lighting we call it lighting lighting and I want a line of my favorite pastel yellow along the bottom we're just gonna make it less boring than just brown on either side of the door some little flower pots they're not quite pots really and also going to have some do you call it flashing the flashing that you have on the side which is just like a feature a feature thing so we're going to use these I don't even know what color this is like a, a blue gray brick with the stripes on it and that's gonna just screw well, I mean, it's gonna break up the very brickiness that we are about to to put into this house lots and lots of bricks and some grill around the top of the door I think that's good so I've made the door now we need a dog door because there's def there's if you oh, well, I didn't actually look at it very hard but there's definitely a dog door right next to the front door in the Hacking's house so this is for Rosie so dog door over here and uh, yeah, let's move our, let's, let's put our yellow all the way along over here. And then we can start, now that I've got my major features, start putting in the bricks. Lots and lots of bricks in the medium nougat. And over here I want another window. And we're going to use these nice traditionally style windows with a bit of glass on the top to modern it up. And some of those little ledge pieces on the top and the bottom to just give it a little bit more definition. Now we can add some more brickwork on the other side. And this is basically the front of the porch part of the house. Yeah, that's nice. Now, in front of the door, there is actually a dog bone mat. So we can actually build that out of Lego. <laughs> this is so cute. As long as I can actually put these quarter pie pieces in the right direction. That's just like it is in the Sims house. Now, over here, I want a lovely seat to sit on out the front on the porch. I'm using teal and dark blue as my colors. 
and I haven't actually decided what colours I am going to be using as my theme for the Hecking House, so at the moment I am just making stuff up. Maybe I'll be replicating this on the inside, putting some of the smooth tiles on the back. This is just a nice modern-y kind of looking couch. It's going to have to sit in front of that little ledge thing, so if I put these bits on the bottom, that sits it just that little bit further forward. That's very, very nice. All right, I think we're ready to start putting in the porch, but over on this side, I told you I was not gonna stick to what it, I'm gonna stick with the basic design, the idea, but I'm doing my own thing, otherwise it'd be really, really boring in Lego form. Over here, we're gonna have a plant, plant climbing frame thing, a plant holder thing. So putting some plants over here, and the plants are gonna make it, how many times have I said plants now in the last 10 seconds? The plants are gonna make it just so, just, pretty pretty and colorful and softer it, it's it's gonna soften all of these hard bricky lines moving these around so that i can put this up higher and mm, yeah put put this on the top tile all together and another pot at the front these telescope pieces make such little great frames for all sorts of purposes right okay so a nice plant wall over here now we can put our patio in and I want oh no I want a bit more space along the front so if I move them over and put my supporting poles in and I want another supporting pole over here that leaves the right space in front of the door uh, and we can use some more of these telescope pieces this time in white to fill up these gaps that we didn't manage to fill up with the fencing and just putting a stud on the top to get them all to the same height. Nice porch is done. Now, nice smooth wood handrail along the top. Yeah, and then we just need some supports up on the top of our poles here. Ha, ah, this was in the front porch. Porchway is basically done. Now, I'm going to use a purple stripe along the top, but before I do that, I want to, yeah, fill in that side. Now I can do me purple stripe and we're going to need one more brick height up here for this level. And we're not actually going to see that top level of bricks, so it's not going to matter that I have them in a different kind of texture as down the bottom because we're going to be putting an awning over the patio, a little, a little roof over the patio. So to do that, we need some serious amounts of support. So more tan bricks to make uh, I mean, a support. What, what, I suppose support is exactly the right word. A support network for these. Everybody needs a support network. It's like that village that you're supposed to have to help you raise your kids. <laughs> Where is that? I haven't seen one of those. Uh, okay, so we go around the corner. I'm pretty sure this is the right size. Let's check it out. Yes, nice. This is what when maths comes in handy or just basic counting. Okay, so we have got an awning. I'm going to just make it a flat roof on the top because that way it's gonna make it easier for me. Nice, flat roofing on the front. This is just our porch area though. We're going to extend off the side and make that little bay window where Brent has his art gallery. It's art gallery? No, it's his art room. It's not a gallery that's way too fancy. It's, it's just an art room. It's where it's, it's, it's his personal retreat with a French bay window. And this is my favorite thing in the world. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you would know that. So this house is definitely getting a bay window. It's the best thing. Or is it French doors? No, French doors is something entirely different. So a bay window. Ah, okay. So I need to build these up, put them on base plates down here. These aren't big enough to be base plates, but they are being used as base plates. Uh, and now how am I going to connect all these to the actual tan base plate? By putting this on maybe? Why does that not work? Uh, if I take it out and put... No, no, no. Okay, so we need to take up the 2x4 pieces. I have two 2x4 plates here. And they need to face vertically. Yeah, that's better. Now we're all interconnected. Everybody's getting along. And I don't know, I have actually don't know what's going to be going on inside, but look at this. We've just basically created a very nice little window seat. And I don't even know where we're heading for this in the future, but I do love a good window seat. So that's how it is for now. Right, so this is where this is going to sit, yeah, off our base plate. Oh, now we need to expand the bottom level here. I'm just gonna hold them on with some two by four tiles. And I have the perfect awning for these windows. These came off Batgirl's vehicle and they even have that stripe on it. So that'll go in with our yellow. Well, I know it's orange, but yellow. And I need to continue my purple line along here. So how's this gonna go? Um, in. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, these ones go like that. Perfect. That's perfect. And that's going to hold on our, yeah, hold on our awning. And it's going to be at, what's wrong? There we go. And it's going to be at the right height. 
to match the rest of the roof line there. Ha! And extending this out for support, need a pillar here. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, so time to rejigger all of these purple pieces so we can tie the, 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 the support into our windows. So much nicer, all right. There's going to be a lot of backtracking with this stuff because I don't know where it's going, where it's headed. Okay, these are going to make, these little arches are going to make some nice support later on for our next level. I have not actually thought about internal support at all, but I have thought that Brent looks really, really cute in the front oh, with Rosie sitting on the chair. Now, this is our front porch. There's this bit off to the side as well on the left hand side as I'm facing it. So we're going to build this out too. Uh, yeah, I think that'll do. So making our yellow line of bricks along here, but I want another window. <laughs> do you know, I haven't actually thought about what's going to be going inside. So I, I might have to just, I, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just making the house first and then I'm thinking about the internals later. That could be just a recipe for disaster. But I mean, you're logically going to need windows on most of these places anyway. So we're going to put another window over here. And it's it's matching it's matching the, the theme of the other windows mostly and mixing up the brick colors for a reason for reasons because this little annex on the side was built later in my brain was built later than the main part of the house so it's got a slightly different brickwork brick, brickwork patterny thing going on so it's, it's just gonna make it look a little bit less bro blocky burlocky. Oh, purple more along here that's going to help hold everything together. We're going to need another layer of bricks up here, which are going to be very visible. So I'm making sure that they match in with the rest. And that looks so cute. Okay, I think the bottom level is... Oh, hold on. I need to expand out down here. And oh, that's an itty bitty little bit there. I'm going to just hold everything together with, with tiles at the moment. Worry about it all later on. That is a problem for Ron. Later on. Uh, smooth along here so that I can make the next level detachable. Because I think I'm going to need to make it detachable. And that's our bottom level done. Right. Second level. Oh, okay. More base plates. And they're going to have to be in a randomly good configuration to fit on top of the rest. I'm going to support them all with some more long thin tiles because I have no internal support going on inside at the moment, apart from those couple of arches <laughs> on the back side of the door. So this is going to hold it for now until I decide what's going to go inside. Look at that. See? So secure. Don't press it too hard in the middle because it will all come crashing down. But it does fine for now. Need this to go out on the top. And if you remember from the Sims house, there's actually a little veranda out here, a little balcony. Uh, so I want to build this up. I'm going to make the door go inwards because there's really not enough room for the door to go outwards. This is the tiniest balcony ever. Small glass on the top matches in with the, with the door downstairs. Smooth over the top of the veranda. It's looking grand. Now I'm going to continue using this brick line of yellow all the way along the bottom just like we did on the bottom level another light up here which means I need to build our bricks up it's, it's bricky time it's time to brick yeah that's a good that's a good level it's a shame I can't actually no I quite like that I quite like that with the white brick holding the light on that looks nice okay out the front I want Another bay window. Look at that. See, that's sitting above the door there. This is a kind of a big tree in the way, but we can see there's a bay window on top of the door. So we're going to build a bay window. So we need some of these hinge pieces. And this is going to challenge my directional sense because my directional sense is challenged all the time. Which way is that supposed to bend? That is... Yes, yes. You would think with the amount of Lego that I do, my directional... <laughs> I just think my directional sense is beyond repair. I don't know that it can actually learn, but I do get there in the end. And that's what matters. Sometimes it's about the journey we take <laughs> along the way, which can often be longer. I want to actually build this up again with this blue-gray flashing on the side so it matches the door down below. It's so pretty. And a little yellow line, a little yellow line, a little line of yellow over the top but I need these are going to be the roofing but at the moment I can't connect that on so that's going to be, need to be connected from above so I'll worry about that later later once again leave it for Ron later on okay this is going in here yep need to build this up over here with smooth bits on the top because 
Though it's not gonna sit right. Yeah, look at that! Except there's this gaping big gap down the bottom. So, need to fill that with a, a support, which it doesn't actually need the support, but it needs to look like a support. And this is once again yellow, curved over on the sides. That's pretty. And that sits on our, yeah, on the little roofing for the porch. That's pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love me a bay window so much. Ah, okay, so let's take this off because if I try to push down the middle, it's going to all be very, very sad. Uh, except it's just really hard to build with it now with those. Anyway, we need another window over here. And once I've decided that it's centralized correctly and doesn't look too whacked out with the stuff that's down below, then we can continue this yellow line around the corner. And now we need some shutters for this window. I mean, we got two feature windows up here, baby. We are going to make this really, really nice. So bricks up here this is all looking very bendy but it won't eventually don't worry so this is going to use this shutter sticker piece and i know it's pink but i think it's gonna work i think it's going to work very nicely there was no way that this house was just gonna all be brown it, we, but we won't just shove a whole heap of colors in and hope it works. I'm pretty sure that this is going to go well. Now it is time to backfill it with all the brickwork because we've got the major features in. And before we work on this side, let's just check what it looks like back on the rest of the house. Yeah, okay, so that's lined up really nicely on top of the other one, the other window. Oh my gosh, this is looking awesome. Right, okay. Remember we need a slightly revised brickwork pattern over here in our uh, our secondary annexed section. So yeah, that's looking very good. I'm so proud that I remembered. And some holes with jump uh, holes, some bricks with some holes on the front so that we can attach some stuff. And I mean, what are we going to attach to a farmhouse? I'm pretty sure you can guess. Window around the corner, just more holes, more brickwork. This is all that we need. It's really all that we need. Now, no lie, we need a lot of stuff, but we do need a purple line now to hold all of this together in place. And then I think it might be time to put the smooth pieces on so that we can detach what's going on on top and access, access all the stuff a lot easier. It's gonna make a nice support there and beautiful. Right, these holes, Yes, they are for climbing vines. I mean, it's, it, it was just crying out for climbing vines. and saying, please give me the climbing vines. So I'm going to. And this is how we tie the pink <laughs> in my head anyway. How I'm going to tie that pink and that purple line in with all the rest of the house is by putting purple flowers on and pink flowers on. Even though they're in a different shade, it all it all works out and just a token one on this side because i still really am not sure about what's going to happen on here so this will do for now it looks cute okay and going to also continue our plant work across the top of here because otherwise it looks really really blocky uh, and yeah just pink flowers on the top here i think with some extra leaves so we don't have an overdose of purple Oh, it's so pretty. We could put a hangy one down here. Let's put a hangy one. Oh, look at that. I want to live in here now. Some smooth tiles on the top just kind of help make it look more textured and tiley. And now uh, we've got a whole second level. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love it so much. It's, so, <laughs> it's no internal structure. Let's ignore that for now. Let's head up and do some roofing. Now, because the roof in The Sims 4 house is incredibly peaked, it's a really, really prominent roof, we're going to end up having an attic up here, I think. So we need a complete flooring, and I'm going to add an extra window, a little gable. Do you call it a gable window? So it's a little attic window with a recessed window. <laughs> I've said window too many times, I think I have. A recessed window in it. And I need to get the, the roof peak correct over it. Oh, okay, this is going to be fun. Let's see if I can put enough structure in here before I can start putting the actual angled roof pieces on. And then we got all this attic space too to furnish. What would they keep in their attic space? A bit afraid to ask actually. This is where this is where we can actually attach those bits of roofing for the bay window below. It is not terribly sturdy when we take the attic off. They're going to fall off, but 
it's fine when it's all put together and that's all that's all I need to know okay peeking up <laughs> peeking up over the little recess window it's so cute it's my favorite thing one of those little tiny windows they do have a name I don't know what it is it's, it eludes me at the moment okay going around the corner a bit of blue so that it all ties in hopefully this is just I'm not certain how this is going to work out. Let's get this part of the roofing on first and then this one's just set back a little bit because that's the extra add-on bit. Nice! Oh, hold on. We need a bit more support in there. Support! Stat! Okay, and there's a massive hole in there which you may have noticed. It's actually for a chimney and the chimney is going to be in the same stonework as the annexed side. Ah! <laughs> Once again, how we tie it all in, hopefully. That's the plan. You'll notice that I have just a random grey outward facing stud there because I had run out of brown ones. But nobody's going to see it because we are putting our little chimney toppers here around. Nobody can see what's happening under it. This goes up here in this hole. Now they have got quite a cosy looking chimney. Smoothing over the top and just one little jumper stud so that we can put a seagull in because in, they, they live in Brindleton by the bay. No, Brindleton Bay. It's perfect. They need a seagull. These are going to make a little bit of an overhang under the roof, which just hides those that, 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 that tan line a little bit better. But I would have changed that tan line if I could have, but I just don't have enough of those medium nougat bricks. Now, this is where we are at. We have got two and a half levels. Two levels and an attic. I think... Mm, I like what it looks like from the front. I think I might need to extend the sides out a little bit, depending upon what I'm going to be putting in there. That attic bit needs to be extended further back. Now, this looks fine just on its own. I actually want to raise it up so I can have some steps up onto the porch and raise up the foundation level as well. So there's also going to be bushes all the way around. So I need to put all this on a big green base plate, I think, with... Uh, oh, but play equipment, training equipment for Rosie. Oh, there's a lot to do. Okay, so at this stage, we have a house, a very, very empty house with very little in the way of internal structure. But the outside, the basics are there. The colour scheme all tied in really really well and it's so not the boring blocky brown that is the sims 4 version this is the sims 4 version but improved in aesthetics in my opinion and it's my opinion that it counts when i'm building a lego house and it's got two bay windows two bay windows me bad hacking because i'm moving in now it's just my dream house with the bay windows right okay so we now need to furnish it so subscribe do all the things, check back in. It is furnishing time soon. Help me. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.